Hi, I'm Michael Odie, Senior Technical Director for Windows IT Pro, and now we're going to go through a quick Windows 8 survival guide. Windows 8 was just released, but there's a couple tips that can really help you get around it a lot faster and easier. One thing, remember the corners. Up in the upper right hand corner, if you move your cursor up there, you can see the the charms menu is displayed where you can conduct searches, share things, go to the start menu or the start screen which we see here, work with devices as well as settings. Another important corner is down in the um, lower left hand corner. If you go down there we can easily switch over to the desktop. So you can see that Windows 8 has that dual user experience and it also uses hotkeys for things. While I showed you the corners just pressing the Windows key allows you to toggle back and forth between the desktop and the start menu. Another important shortcut key is the Windows X key. This might be the most important shortcut key that there is. Hitting Windows X lets you work with programs and features, the mobility center, power options, the event viewer, systems, devices, disks, task manager, control panel. A lot of those things that you used to look for on your old start menu you can get through from the Windows X key. Another couple important shortcut key combinations that you might want to remember. Um, Windows key plus C, that brings up the charms menu, that's a shortcut for that. Windows key plus I, that brings up your settings menu, um, that allows you to work with those, many of those same things that you saw off of uh, off the charms menu. We can go down, this is where we'd use the power options to turn the power on and off for the systems. Uh, Windows K opens up the connection charm, but there's nothing connected right now. Windows key plus Q opens up um, our uh, share charm or the search pane. So, and if you have a lot of open apps, uh, Windows plus the tab key will circle through those apps. So anyway, from the start menu, uh, one of the other important things to notice here is that not everything is displayed in the start menu. Only your major apps are displayed. So how do you run things that are that aren't here, like like paint? Well, search is important to do that, and you can get there simply by starting to type the name. So as you can see, as we type paint, it will automatically make a uh, it will automatically search for paint and find it over there and uh, in our search results, and we can launch it from there. Pretty handy stuff. Um, another important thing to know when you're dealing with Windows 8 is you might want to run a lot of these apps just off the start menu but you might notice Windows 8 apps they work differently than uh, standard Windows applications you notice there's no buttons at the top to close the window or to minimize it um, so how do we end these applications well you move your cursor to the top until it turns into a hand and then you drag it down off the bottom of your screen that ends the app and then you're return returned right back to the start menu and ready to go again you can also customize the start menu if you want to add things here. For instance, if we wanted to add paint to our start menu, there's paint. We could right click it and then click pin to start and it would be added into the start menu for us. Um, another thing that uh, could be very handy if you're using Windows 8 is to ad enable administrative tools. Uh, if you want to enable the administrative tools, you can hit the Windows key and I, go into your, your tiles settings, and see where it says show administrative tools drag that slider bar off to the right and there we have show administrative tools now if we scroll to the right here you'll see our uh, start menus has been populated with all those options that were on the old Windows 7 administrative tools menu which could be pretty handy if you're working at managing systems um, another thing that that could be handy is a uh, Connecting to remote systems like remote Windows 8 systems or remote Windows Server 2012 systems, uh, when you're connected with RDP, by default, the, the hotkeys don't go through there. And you can see that hotkeys are important for working with Windows 8. So how can we enable those hotkeys to go through there? Well, let's start the remote desktop connection and go into the options pane and look at local resources and then go into the keyboard section and we'll look at apply windows key combinations and we're going to say on the remote computer and then when we connect to a remote system with win with uh, RDP and we hit that windows key that windows key will be redirected off to the remote system so that allows us to use our keyboard shortcuts with uh, remote windows 8 and windows server 2012 systems well that's it for this series of tips thank you for watching